Hi there. So you are moved into the property and I'm sure from time to time you might see some items that um, in the property that are going defective or bad or malfunctioning. Well, in this situation, you're going to want to submit a maintenance request. Okay. So all repair maintenance requests must be formally submitted via Touchpoint's online maintenance portal. Um, you should have received an email when you first moved in with a welcome email that allows you to access the maintenance portal. Um, in this document here, I provided a web link, which you can click on. It'll give you access to the maintenance portal. I highly recommend that you bookmark it so you can go to it easily in the future. Um, all maintenance requests must include a detailed description of the issue and also supporting pictures. Um, normal non-emergency maintenance requests will be handled during business hours during Monday through Friday between the hours of 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. So please allow 24 to 48 hours for us to respond and get the get it resolved if it's a non-emergency. Now, if it's a priority issue or let's say a maintenance emergency, this can this can and should be directed to our 24/7 maintenance hotline. Um, you also want to make a uh, maintenance request in the main the tenant portal as well, but definitely call our 24 hour seven day week maintenance hotline. The telephone number is in this document. It's 704-443-7470 extension 106. Maintenance emergencies include anything that would put the tenant's safety or the property in danger. For example, a fire. Well, first we want you to call 911 to report the fire. Then you want to submit your maintenance request. This would be an emergency. If you're smelling gas, if there's gas leaks, um, you may want to call your utility provider first, but also submit a maintenance request. There might be a minor gas leak and we can get that resolved for you. And then next is unmanageable water leaks and floods. This does not, this does not include a slow leak, a slow drip from a faucet where you can put a bucket under or a rag there to catch the leak. This is an unmanageable water leak um, that is preventing you from living in the property or may damage the property. Please report that to us. We consider that an emergency. Also, let's talk about your air conditioning and heating, your HVAC system. Let's say it's not working. If it's a beautiful spring day and the weather is very mild, we don't consider that an emergency. But when the outside temperature is below 50 degrees in the winter or above 80 degrees in the summer, we do consider that an emergency. And, and we want you to report that to our emergency line and we will get a technician out there as soon as possible. We know how important that is. Also, let's say you do not have water gas or electricity in the property, well, you can notify us. Uh, we will consider this a priority, but we request that you call your utility, utility company first because there may be an outage in the area or it may be something that they will need to resolve for you first. Now, here's the next one. If any of your doors or windows or access points in the property will not close, well, this is a risk. We're risking uh, your safety. There may be uh, a burglary, maybe some sort of a, a break in. Uh, we consider that definitely a priority and we want to know about it. OK, next, an electrical problem that could result in a result in a short circuit or a fire. You know, sometimes your lights don't turn on right or they flicker. That's not an emergency. But if you're seeing sparks, definitely major priority. Let us know about it. Now, regarding your refrigerator or freezer, if it's not working, we consider that a priority. Please let us know about that. In many cases, uh, we're going to get a technician out there as soon as possible because we don't want your food to go bad. But, if you know, we do recommend, you know, getting some ice from the store with a cooler. Um, you can take the ice packs 
put them in your freezer, put them in your refrigerator. It will, um, it will mitigate the situation until we can get somebody out there. Okay. Next presence of carbon monoxide or smoke in the property. These are all very dangerous situations. Please let us know about it. Uh, next, if there is a total stoppage of the drain system, um, that liquid Drano will not resolve. We consider this a high priority. I'll give you an example. Your shower, uh, your toilet, um, your sink, if it will not, if the, if, it, if the clog will not go down with a plunger, a snaking tool, or a liquid Drano, uh, and it's keeping you from using your, your facilities, please let us know about it. There may be a major clog. Um, I will say if we do get out there and we find something in the sink or the, or the drains that's not supposed to be in there, um, there will be some accountability on your part. But we recommend first you try to resolve the leaks yourself. Our maintenance team can also assist you by phone. But if it, nothing you're doing is resolving it, we'll get somebody out there. Thanks so much. Um, make yourself familiar with our maintenance uh, portal and um, on how to submit pictures and detailed description. And remember, give us a little bit of time to respond. We take it very seriously if something's not working in the property. And sometimes it's just a matter of us getting somebody out to the property, getting a repair authorized by the owner of the property. We're doing everything in our ability to get this taken care of as soon as possible. We appreciate your patience. Thanks so much.